I'm slowly finding my rhythm. I'm finding my way back to truth. Back to courage. Back to purpose. I'm finally finding my way back home. Hey guys, hope that you're all doing wonderful today. It is Tuesday afternoon. I just spent the last three hours cleaning. Let me get comfortable. Hold on a second. So I am in full declutter mode. I folded my laundry. I vacuumed, mopped the floors, cleaned the refrigerator. I did the dishes, watered the plants. And I had a moment that I just looked at all of my wooden spoons and I just felt disgusted. So I threw them away. Like I hate the process of having to boil water and let them soak and seeing all the dirt come out of them. Yeah, so I'm gonna stay away from the wooden utensils for now. I've just been continuing to make room for what's important to me. And one thing, I cannot operate in chaos. So I thought, let me just get the house clean so that I can get everything else done that I need to do. So my plan is I'm gonna actually head to the farmer's market. I want to get some things to make some smoothies and probably do some juicing tomorrow. I've been juicing for the past three to four months and I've definitely noticed the difference in my body. So I wanna continue that. I'm probably gonna make a smoothie when I get home because one thing I've noticed is that when the seasons change, my appetite changes. So I haven't really been eating as much as I should be. So I wanna make a smoothie that is just like jam packed with everything that I need. I just wanna try and just get as much nutrition back into my body as I can and just get some things for dinner and juicing for tomorrow. My schedule has been a little lighter recently as I'm kind of transitioning into newer projects and updating my portfolio and doing all those things as us freelancers do. So I'm really do my best to make the most out of this season, get my life in order. So one last thing before I leave, for all of my tea lovers, I restocked my tea drawer. Let me show you guys a few teas that I have been loving right now so at whole foods they're currently having a sale and i got the um immune zoom which is lemon and ginger i love lemon and ginger that's like a staple and it was a staple growing up too but i really like the taste of this one in particular and then i also like the ginger and chamomile because i've never actually thought to add ginger to chamomile I would always do like a lemon and ginger, right? So this has been really nice before bed. Definitely go down to Whole Foods if you're interested in trying these out because they're really tasty. But one thing I did last night, so my mom was here for six weeks in the summer and she bought some kerosene tea, typical Jamaican. And um, let me tell you about this tea, yeah? So one thing I didn't realize is you're only meant to leave the tea bag in for three minutes. So I tried it yesterday. And when I tell you, I felt like I was drinking poison. Like it's so strong, but it's really good for just clearing out your body, clearing out the toxins. So only leave the tea bag in for three minutes because you will literally be in for a shot. Okay, but let me finish my tea and then we're gonna head to the farmer's market. So this is everything that I got, some spring water, some basmati rice, I got a few noodles, some walnuts for my smoothies, um, I like to get like these little crackers for like cheese and salami and things, my fave, and then eggs, onions, green beans, tomatoes, rosemary, mint, frozen mango, seeded watermelon, strawberries, my pineapple, cucumber, spinach, some portobello, mushrooms. I got some plantain, Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna make some homemade fries tomorrow with some burgers. And then I got these from Publix a few days ago. 
So that's for the burgers. My favorite coconut water for my smoothies and just to drink for like electrolytes. And then some potatoes, carrots. And yeah, so I definitely think I got some good stuff. So I'm gonna pack everything away. it's not too sweet and I feel like it will just give me a little boost I'm gonna check some emails and then I'm gonna cook dinner because I'm going to the Beltline with my friend um, we've been doing this weekly okay I had to capture this sample this was sweet potato salad like have you ever it was so good good morning guys i have an appointment in midtown so i'm gonna make myself some tea quickly and head out it's currently um 8 44 so um my plan is to um run some errands once i'm done and then come home and do some work i noticed my eyes get really watery um and my allergies start playing up in the fall. So I'm contending with that. that needs a lot of work. My plan is to completely 
decorate it, paint the walls, put up pictures and do all of that. So I actually had decorated the room next door, which has now become the guest room. The goal was for that to be my office, but then I just realized that I didn't need as much space. And I thought that that room would serve better as the guest room. I'll show you guys how it's currently looking. So this is the guest room and this bed actually pulls out to a king bed. It stops around here. So you still have like enough space to like walk through. And then I just have this chair, TV and plant and everything. Curtains. So it's a really nice room. I'll show you some pictures of like how it looks when the bed is pulled out. I will insert them now. But yeah, so this is the guest room. So I'm back to the drawing board with my office in figuring out how I want it to look. But I'm gonna give myself some time. Like I just want it to be a really nice, creative, bright space with lots of plants, color. I wanna put a really nice rug down, put quotes on the wall, put some like quotes from my book on the wall and things like that. I have been definitely letting myself down as far as my peloton goes because your girl has not been riding it as much as I should be. It's embarrassing because the thing about me, I love walking and though walking is a really good form of exercise, I do also like riding my peloton and whatever. So I'm gonna figure that out. Okay, but back to why I even turned on my camera. So I've been setting clothes on Poshmark that I haven't worn in the last year. I'm like, if I haven't worn it in the last year, I'm probably not gonna wear it. Last week, I made $117. I sold a leather bag from Madewell and my Orange Theory monitor, because I haven't been to Orange Theory since 2019. So I was like, what am I gonna do with that? So um, a few more things I have to put on sale. So I've already put these on for sale. Like I have a few of these from Aritzia, which I haven't really worn. I have another leather bag, some jeans, um, this really nice mulberry silk dress, which I've never worn. So definitely check out my Poshmark if you wanna have a look and feel free to make me an offer if you want a discount, cause I really just wanna get rid of them. They have all either been worn once or never been worn. And then I have a few more things here that I'm gonna actually put on now. This top, this dress that I've never worn, some jeans and this has never been worn. So yeah, so I'm gonna put these on Poshmark now and then that will mark the end of my clothes decluttering and then I'm gonna move on to figuring out how I wanna decorate my office space. And that's a wrap, they are all on Poshmark. I just wanna make room for more clothes that I'm actually excited about wearing. Like I wanna go in my closet and be excited about the items that I put on my body every day. So that's my next mission, to just buy more clothes that bring me joy and not just buy things because they're on sale. I wanna just be a little bit more intentional. So, yeah. So I cannot remember where we left off, but we're about to do some juicing. I'm gonna juice the watermelon with some rosemary and some lemon. Um, one thing I found, so because I don't love the taste of water, I've said this several times, but I am still trying to find creative ways <laughs> to stay hydrated. I don't just juice the watermelon, I juice the rind as well. So I'm gonna make a little juice, which I'll be drinking in the mornings for the next two to three days. This is really just part of my continuous effort to take care of my body and, um, but to make it fun. So let's get to juicing.
juicing. I'm gonna tidy up. Today has been a pretty chill day. I had a proposal to write this morning for a client, which I'm really excited for this new project, developing brand voice for a nonprofit organization and just kind of leading them through some transitions with like hiring their first full-time marketing employee and things like that. So I'm really excited for that project and checked emails on all of that this morning. So I'm looking forward for a pretty chilled evening. I think I want to have a date night with hubby tonight on the topic of making room for what matters most. And then tomorrow I'm actually going to there's a co-working space called Lola in Midtown. I've been once before, but I was invited to go tomorrow to this like, they're kind of doing a tour and it's like a networking event. So I'm going there tomorrow, getting out of the house because I wasn't gonna go. And then I was like, Shandice, you need to go mingle with some people, have a good time. And there's like a three hour allocated work session. So I'll probably use that time to edit my next YouTube video. Um, so yeah, like I'm feeling good. I'm gonna tidy up. Are you me? Me? So I want to wrap up this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed your time with me. I actually just got home from the Lola and man, like it was such a therapeutic, fruitful experience. So we did a tour. It was my second time visiting. I met some lovely people. And one thing that that experience showed me is that younger women and older women need to get together more because I was listening to some of the conversations that the like 40, 50, 60 year old women were having and I was just like so much knowledge there and what's typically happening is the 20 year olds are meeting together, the 30 year olds are meeting together, the 40 year olds are meeting together. It's like we're not transferring the information in a way that is going to help the younger women and vice versa. Like, I feel as if there needs to be more mingling amongst different generations, especially amongst different generations of women who have a growth mindset. Because I understand it's like, you can be young and you can be older and not have a growth mindset and it's pointless. But the type of women who I was in the company of today, I was like, these women are so inspirational, like have so much knowledge, so much to transfer down to the younger generation. And it just really inspired me. And it just got me thinking about like ways I can possibly facilitate conversations between younger women and older women. So had a really good time. I got some lunch from Sweet Green. So I'm gonna have my salad. And of course, my perk coffee. So I'm going to enjoy that and then just enjoy the rest of my Friday. But I hope that you enjoyed your week with me. I hope you enjoyed just kind of getting a glimpse into the way that I've been living and really trying to be intentional about making room for what matters most to me. And as you're on your journey of just becoming who God has called you to be and just removing the layers and really being courageous and also embracing seasons that might be uncomfortable just know that you're not alone like I'm definitely in the trenches with you and I'm sure that there are so many other women who are finding their way and just committed to this journey right like and even when it's hard and even through the storms just finding that bit of sunshine and embracing it so I'm excited for what's next I'm really excited. If you watched my It's Time to Trust God with Your Journey video, then you would kind of know like what transitions are currently taking place in my life. Um, but I just feel like this is a shift season and I'm ready to shift. Like I'm ready to shift and to just become more courageous. So um, I will see you all in my next one. 
have an amazing night all day wherever you are in the world i love you guys lots and lots take care